Hi guys, how are you? So this is for many pineapple drink, it's of Mexican origin, it's called pineapple tepache, but it's okay. not available here in India. Yeah. Uh, really great is by using pineapple, uh, fermenting pineapple and brown sugar together. Interesting. So you made a tepache in India. Yes. Did you guys have ever have it before? Yeah. Or you researched, you found it and yes. then you, you can keep it down. Thank you. How old is this? Five days. And it could be fermented more uh, depending on how you like the taste. And tell me what the ingredient panel reads like for this. Uh, only pineapple and brown sugar. Pineapple brown sugar ferment. You strain it out and fair enough. And then how long do you ferment it for? For 800 ml, it will be around 5 days. Four 5 days for the... Yeah. Okay. You guys should go and sell this product to a restaurant. It's really good. Very interesting. Food. What is this? Sorry? Foxtail millet. Okay, foxtail millet idli. How long is the fermentation time and the uh, soaking time? I soaked it for four hours. Okay. And fermented for eight months. Okay. Have you done other experiments for longer yeah. soaking and shorter yeah. soaking? Uh, when I did for longer soaking and longer fermentation, it was more than and uh, it was hard. It was hard when you did longer? Yeah. Okay. And when I fermented for less time and I soaked for less time, so it became this uh, softer than uh, Fair enough. And you made this really this morning? Uh, no, yesterday. Who oh, made last night? Last okay. night. And then you refrigerated it and you kept no. it? I can't get out because they are bad. I couldn't get out. Okay, so it's been out for almost 12 hours or 14 hours and it tastes like this. Yeah. Interesting. Tell me more about your protein bars. So, this is a savory protein bar. Okay, a savory protein bar. Yeah. So, it doesn't have any sugar in it. Okay. For those people who don't want to uh, eat a protein bar but they don't want to eat anything sweet. Okay. So, that's fine. So, open. No? Uh, yeah, it's open. Yeah, it's fine. Just give me a smaller piece if possible. You can keep it. I'll take it. So, this is uh, made by the base of sunflower seed butter. Okay. Uh, and it's about 60 grams. Okay. And it's about 60 grams. Did you make your own sunflower seed yes. butter? Okay. I wanted to uh, control the consistency of the sunflower seed butter myself and also the uh, uh, the liquid glucose content in it, uh, typically it has a high amount of maple syrup, high strength. So it's made in a spray. In where? Uh, in the uh, sunflower seed, but I need it. But then if you use maple in there, then maple is sugar. Yes, but that's okay. not added, is it? Yeah. It is. Um, they, in marketing, they let it go. Yeah, yeah. But as a developer, anything which is inherently a source of sweetness is a sugar so peanuts also have sugar but that's not added sugar but a maple syrup is an extracted sugar so yeah so i need it for the binding as well absolutely no no sorry i cut you off then then after maple syrup you made the seed butter what else is there so it kind of formed like a doughy consistency yeah. which I like, which was help, which helped the binding as well and also okay. increased the protein like Okay. Uh, and then I added the, uh, like roasted seeds and all. So you bound, so it's it's seed butter, sunflower yes. seed butter, yes. and then just a blend of other millets yes. and pumpkin seeds and stuff like that. No, it has quinoa in it. Okay. So it and then it's just bound together with the seed butter. It also has spices and condiments. Uh, yeah, so what are the spices you put in there? So I put garlic powder, onion powder, pumpkin powder as well. Because it gives taste a little bit. Yeah. There's chili powder. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure there's a peri peri mix in it. Huh? Peri peri mix. Sorry, I'm going to say something. अगले बार से माइक पकड़ो, ठीक है? हाँ। Fair enough, very interesting. Why did you make us savory bar? Do you eat protein bars? No, not typically because they are sweet. I'm not a sweet. Oh, so you don't like sweet? Yeah, so I don't. But then you make the batch. But this is not sweet. It's more tangy in my opinion. Okay, fair enough. And it's also a drink, so it's fun like that. Cool. What about the packaging? Tell me more about the packaging that you've done. Who made the design? So I and my sister made it together. She's a graphic designer. I gave her the instructions and she made it. How many times did you go back and forth on it? 
not a lot. I not a lot? Yeah. So was, that's a very important thing on the industry. Most of the time, the food technology is really bothered a graphic designer. So yeah. Honestly, she was really glad that I was her uh, client <laughs> because she was like, you're much Other better client, than I was. Yeah. yeah, so you know. Yeah. Do you have a facade registration? That's just randomly. Yeah. Okay. Ma'am Good. said we wanted to put all the uh, to just make the look of the uh, like an like actual landing. Mm -hmm. So it's like ten it is. So cool. You've done most of the things. Do you know that now you also have to write this thing called USP? USP. Yeah. So you know how you have MRP, which is the maximum mm -hmm. retail price. Now you also have to write something called USP, which is the unit selling price, which is a per gram price yeah, yeah. of your product. I write that as well. It's beside the MRP. In the bracket. Yeah. Fair enough. Just add it next time with the heading, but good stuff. Will this recipe that you are selling for 45 rupees for this bar, is it profitable? Not right now, yeah. but we can increase or like, if we like get wholesale products, I'm sure we can like keep the price same and like make a profit increase. No, fair enough. Good stuff, yeah. Very good stuff. Cool. What group number are you guys? Three. Three? Uh, can you check because it's different. Oh, no worries. What's the product? Uh, savory protein bars. And yeah, three. three. All right. I will. All right. Thank you.